Culture Shock is our Whatcom owned and operated business by the sisters, the Kramer girls. There's Barb, our late sister, Donna and myself. And we started our business, Culture Shock. We're sitting around a kitchen table trying to figure out ways to be self-sustaining. Going into it, we were all no experience and, you know, got advice from one of our cousins in Chilliwack, Paula Cranmer, and, and my sister Barb loves her coffee and she goes, we're gonna have a coffee shop too. And I'm like, do you know how to run one of those machines, Barb? And she goes, no, but we'll get someone to show us and we'll just learn. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. And she did. And my dad gave us a spot in his, um, shop and fixed it up for us and yeah we opened culture shock originally the plan was that um, we would have the things that we create in our store and we also offer experiences which are um, barbecuing salmon by the open fire like how we do it traditionally um, cedar weaving with myself storytelling with my mom um, originally we had our cousin Gyori who had a canoe and you could go on a canoe ride with him, but we offer more than that because we come from a family who still practices our traditional ways that's been given to us since the beginning of time. And we've integrated all our traditional values and cultural ways into this current business called Culture Shock. When people come to Culture Shock, it, they become our friends. And it's not just this cute shop they come to in Alert Bay. It has more, more meaning and more feeling than that. So Culture Shock, we've been open for many years now, and we're just really proud of the fact that our grandmother was an entrepreneur back in her time, in the late 30s to the 70s, and then now her granddaughters are running a business out of the building that she created with my grandfather. I think my granny would be pretty proud of us because, you know, when Barb had the idea that, oh, we should start a store, and we're kind of like, yeah, right, Barb. <laughs> Seriously, but seriously, here we are. And yeah, I think my gran would be pretty proud of us. I kind of feel sometimes that our sister Barb, even though she's in spirit world and my granny's in spirit world and my grandpa, that they come around, they're around us. And I think they're pretty proud. A lot of the people who actually go through culture shock and, and work there and put in their work experience are, are females. And I think it's good to have that positive influence. We're really proud that all our people that work for us are Bakwam. They're native from here. They're youth, they're younger generation. I think it shows Indigenous women that it can be done. And um, it took a lot of hard work to get where they are, but they made it look relatively easy. They do everything with grace. They make it look easy, with ease, and, and they always have a good heart. We always say one of our, our teachings is to carry a good heart and I think they carry a good heart. We say so I think if you're doing that you really can't go wrong. We just had a group of educators come from the Comox Valley and they did a two-hour experience of Cedar Park, a two-hour experience of storytelling. We fed them our good Bakum traditional food and it was just like they're just infused with all this culture and they couldn't believe it and then we're hugging them at the end of the day and then they go on their merry way and they're just so happy. That's what happens when you come to Alert Bay. That's what happens when you come to Culture Shock. It's a memorable experience that people would come back to.